us tonight is Tom Fenton, the president of Judicial Watch, uh, which is uh, responsible for the revelation of mis well, this material and much, much more. Tom, good to have you with us. Can you explain to me why a person who cannot write better than struck ends up either writing or rewriting and editing other people's uh, efforts? They couldn't have been as, uh, well, calamitous as that uh, sentence. Well, the, this was a joint effort. Uh, Page helped him write it as well. Uh, pretty much everything bad out of the FBI was a struck Page uh, creation. Uh, but, you know, that sentence is worth paying attention to because it shows nothing wrong was happening. Why would it be surprising that the Russian government, mm -hmm. seeing a candidate for president, would want to figure out who they should be talking to in case the candidate won? Uh, in terms of uh, potential policies of a, of a new administration. Nothing yeah. wrong in that. And the other part of the document talks about the Papadopoulos uh, conversations. Again, that's all third hand. No, and when you look at it, there is no basis for an unprecedented spy operation against a presidential candidate. At best, it was a sort of, oh, this is interesting. Let's put it yeah. in the file in case something pops up. Otherwise, the idea yeah. that this would be a basis for a, a, a counterintelligence investigation, they were sending FBI agents into the uh, campaign. They were trying to entrap people around uh, Trump. It led to this criminal prosecution of Flynn. Not that what Flynn did was pro uh, criminal. The prosecution itself was criminal, in my view. Uh, we see this is, this, and, is the, and, this is the core document behind the Obamagate well. uh, scandal. It, it is, and uh, it is also as ludicrous, uh, if you will, uh, as the pretext for the special counsel itself. Uh, right. It is uh, bizarre that when we begin with, uh, with Comey's uh, admission uh, to the president in that uh, January 5th meeting, that we see nothing uh, untoward or irregular or, uh, forget, criminal uh, on, on the part of General Flynn. Uh, as they try to find some way to get to uh, President-elect uh, Trump. It, this is a sorry statement on the part of some very sorry actors uh, trying to take down a president. Uh, well, and it shows that Barr and Durham were right to say, contrary to the IGD, IG's ridiculous conclusion, that this was a legitimate <laughs> predicate. Uh, it, they have reason to question the predicate, they said. And you can see mm -hmm. from the document why. Yeah, it, it, it it's it's absurd. Uh, it as is well absurd. As it's judgment. really absurd. Criminal. Tom, I want to go straight to Christopher Ray today, making this uh, bold announcement about an internal revenue, while at the same time acknowledging that not much could happen as a result of whatever they were to find, assuming they had any interest in finding uh, anything that would relate to accountability. Your thoughts? You know, I've been around this town longer than I care to admit to. Uh, I've never heard of the Bureau of Investigations within the FBI. Uh, this is obviously some type of IG review. Uh, it is, I don't know, maybe it's a, it's a gamble by Ray to try to protect his job. Uh, but look, Comey lied, nothing was done. McCabe lied, leaked, nothing was done. Fourteen FBI agents recently were found, including McCabe, to have shared classified or sensitive information, not one prosecution. So if anyone thinks this FBI is in a position to investigate itself again on this issue after covering it up at the highest levels, you know, I have a bridge in Brooklyn I can sell them. Uh, the president should appoint a special counsel that relies on agents of law enforcement outside the FBI to investigate that mess of an organization. If you look at the FBI statement, it spends all this time talking about they're going to investigate misconduct, and it ends with, it ends with, this, with this trite comment about the agency's commitment uh, to the rule of law or language like that. There's nothing in the recent history of the FBI to suggest the agency is committed to the rule of law. It was, it was a vehicle for uh, uh, political investigations contrary to the rule of law of enemies of the president, namely Barack mm -hmm. Obama. And Ray's done zero uh, to, uh, A, expose it, and uh, mm -hmm. B, prosecute those responsible. Yeah, and, and 
and, and now, you know, this obviously is approved by the attorney general. Uh, this goes to uh, the Tom Fitton uh, uh, view of uh, the prospect of justice in the Justice Department, and it is a dark, indeed, vision of what we can expect. Uh, anything here that changes your, your mind? Well, I, I guess the only silver lining is any review is better than no review. Who knows? Maybe they'll find something new. Look, if I were the, it occurred to me, Rich Grinnell, of course, is releasing documents uh, time and time again right. that have been withheld. The president should appoint him transparencies are, send him over to DOJ, FBI, the other agencies that are hiding stuff, and just have him like start it. releasing the material. Don't let him leave. I like it. <laughs> I, 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 but I would broaden, if you will, his portfolio to, uh, it, seems to be in, uh, it seems to be in favor these days, a concept called a whole uh, of government approach. Right. Uh, God knows that this government could use it. My Lord, I, I want to ask you something as you were talking about uh, Flynn. Uh, we know that this began with a dispute about how much uh, General Flynn would reveal about the Obama and Iranian deal, uh, their concerns about Russia and its role. And meanwhile, they ignored China. You saw, I assume, the national security strategy uh, on the whitehouse.gov site. Do you think that China is an enemy of the United States, or do you think it's just some sort of low-level regional competitor, as apparently the authors of this report seem to believe? Oh, it's an existential threat to the future of the country. Uh, they certainly see us as a threat to them, uh, and I, I, I trust the communists to be communists. When they say they uh, seek to replace mm -hmm. us, I believe them. And uh, when it comes to Flynn, yeah. Flynn understood the national security establishment was rotten, on virtually every national security issue, Benghazi, Libya, Syria, China, Iran, you name it. That's why they hated his guts, and that's why they tried to put him in jail based on fraudulent charges. Tom Fitton, as always, great to have you with us. Thanks so much.